I am Emily West and I am your Miss Oklahoma 2010. I was, am a girl from Edmond, Oklahoma. I have three older brothers and a dad who told us stories all the while growing up of his glory days of being an athlete and a, um, a college scholarship athlete. And I always thought that I was going to be a college athlete as well. But whenever I was seven, I decided that I wanted to be Miss Oklahoma and to be Miss America. So all my life, I knew that that was the desire of my heart, but I still had a lot of life decisions and a lot of life experiences between the age of seven and when I was finally old enough and old enough to qualify to compete for Miss Oklahoma. So all the while, I did every sport imaginable when I was old enough. Even though I was a terrible basketball player, I still played basketball and I was a competitive swimmer and I broke several state records thinking that my destiny would be uh, as a collegiate swimmer on scholarship and I had the dream of uh, being an Olympian. But uh, at the age of 16, I had to decide what I was gonna do. Was I gonna follow the desire of my heart or was I going to follow the talents and the gifts that I had? Well, the perfect mesh with, uh, of those things was to follow the desire of my heart by competing in the Miss America organization to be Miss Oklahoma because I was able to use my God-given talents and gifts as well as follow the desire of my heart to be a blessing to everyone possible as Miss Oklahoma. And that is the path I followed. And six years of competing finally paid off when I was named Miss Oklahoma 2010. And of course, I thought I was gonna be Miss America because that's what I decided when I was seven but God knew what was best for me. And at Miss America, I was actually named fourth runner up to Miss America 2011. And that is exactly what was supposed to happen, even though I thought it would be different. And I was able to come back, finish my job as Miss Oklahoma. The night that I was crowned and they announced me, Emily West, you are Miss Oklahoma 2010. It was a very exciting night. It was very humbling very gratifying moment. I was overwhelmed with how fortunate I was to have the desire of my, ha my heart fulfilled. And immediately the next day, I had a press conference as Miss Oklahoma, where I was able to share what it is that I wanted to accomplish during my year of service. And that's exactly what it is, because Miss Oklahoma definitely has this connotation of glamour and glitz and excitement, and it's all there but Miss Oklahoma is not about me. And that's what I was very fortunate to have been told and to figure out that it, my year of service really was about what I could do for other people. Miss Oklahoma is not in the business of self-promotion or self-gratification. She is in the business of people. I immediately started preparation for my school presentations. That's what I spent most of my time doing for the entire year was traveling, driving across Oklahoma, uh, of which I drove over 28,000 miles in my car and doing maybe up to five school assemblies a day, each of which can last up to an hour. And I uh, customized my program, which consisted of leadership and character development, to uh, kindergartners all the way through 12th grade. And many times I was called upon uh, to just say a few words um, to support a certain organization that I might not have had personal experience with, but as Miss Oklahoma, I represent every single person in Oklahoma. That means beliefs, it means feelings, it means um, causes. So I was very fortunate because it challenged me to grow as a person to encompass what matters to all people, whether that mattered to me before or not. And that is one of the things that enriched my life the greatest and will forever remain a part of me is that I learned things everywhere I went. Maybe I was supposed to teach a group of school students that day about character and leadership development and how that helped me become who I'm supposed to be as Emily and ultimately made me ready as Miss Oklahoma. But each and every time, regardless of what I was supposed to teach them, they always taught me. And that is one of the best surprises I had during the entire year as Miss Oklahoma. But I will forever be Miss Oklahoma. And now I'm just Emily again, back in Edmond and going to finish both of my degrees in dance and communications and see where life leads me.